does McDonald's sell burgers? I went to the drive-thru and asked him that, and they looked at me like I was losing my mind. And then I asked for a kid's toy, and they kicked me out. Anyways, we're going to do some long division today. And these are our steps. Divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. So the way I remember it is, does McDonald's serve burgers? And that's how I remember the steps. Today we are going to do 825 divided by 3. So I want you to try this with me step by step. With long division, it's really about repetition. There will be a day where, snap, you're just going to get it. And then you'll have it forever. But you have to put in that repetition in order to get there. And then everything else will be so much easier, I promise. But please make sure that you put in the effort today to practice it. So I always like to draw a fact triangle and I highly recommend that you do that too so that you can see what we're working with. 825 is our biggest number and it's getting divided up. So I'll put our division symbol in here and we're dividing it by three. And we don't know the answer. This up here, the number that's getting divided up is called the dividend. It's a fancy word for the number that's getting divided up. The number we're dividing it by it's called the divisor. So for example, let's say I have 825 candy bars and I'm going to divide them up among three friends, lucky friends. The divisor is three, my friends, okay? And then the answer is gonna go up here on the top and here on the triangle and the answer is called the quotient. That is a fancy word for answer when you're dividing. Just like the product is the answer in multiplication, in division it's the quotient. Okay. All right. So we're going to do divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. And since division and multiplication are related, we will be doing some multiplication because we're basically trying to multiply this three into 825 or multiply it how many times. If you wanted to skip count your threes, three, six, nine, 12, till you got to 825, that would work too, but it would take a really long time. So that's why we have these steps. So let's get started. The first step is to divide but you're not doing the whole number at once. That would be really challenging. You're gonna do one digit at a time. You're just gonna do this. We're going to do eight divided by three. So if I drew a little, you know, fact triangle, it would look like this, eight divided by three. Well, if you know your fact, you know that you can't do eight divided by three. It doesn't work, but could you get close to eight? Could you do three times something gets you close to eight? What's the closest you could get? Three times one is three, three times two is six, three times three is nine, that's too far but three times two gets you close to eight. And that's what we're just doing. We're trying to see how many times can three go into eight. All right, so we'll say eight divided by three is two with the remainder, right? Okay, that's our first step, we divided. Now we're gonna multiply, and I like to draw a little multiplication symbol, symbol right here. Two times three is our next step, okay? So we are now going to multiply and put it down here. Two times three is six. Okay, that's this step, good. Next step is subtract, because you're trying to figure out, I mean, we didn't get all the way up to eight. We only got up to six, so you need to figure out how much further we have to go. So we're gonna do eight minus six, which is two. Great, subtract, done. The last step for burgers is bring down. So we're gonna bring down, what are we bringing down? The next digit, of course, because we worked with this digit, but we're not done, this is a bigger number. So we're gonna bring this two down and join it with the two we already have, because we got a leftover there. 22, great, done, just kidding. Now we're going to do the whole thing again. We're going to go ask again if McDonald's, does McDonald's serve burgers? So now we're going to divide 22 divided by three. So we started with the eight, and we're moving on to the two, but it's a 22 because we have to keep the remainder from before. We can't forget that this was left over. 22 divided by three. So with a fact triangle, that would look like this, divided by three. Can't do it, but can you get close? Can three times something get you close to 22? If you're not sure, skip count your threes till you get to 21, because that's pretty close. But I know that three times seven is 21. So three can go into 22 seven times. And I'm gonna put my next quotient answer right, right here. I'm keeping it nice and lined up. All right, so 22 divided by three is seven. That was this step. Now we're gonna multiply. There's our multiplication right there. Now we're gonna do seven times three 
and put it down here because we still have leftover. If we're not hitting it perfectly, we're always going to have a remainder we're working with. So 7 times 3 is 21. That was this step. Now we're going to subtract. So we're going to figure out our remainder here. 21 minus, 22 minus 21, excuse me, is 2. What's our next step? Look over here. Our next step is bring down. Oh, I'm sorry. I did this wrong. My apologies. That is a 1. 22 minus 21 is 1. There we go. All right. Our next step is to bring down. So we're going to grab this 5. It's been feeling kind of left out. We're going to bring him down, let him join the party. And this is our last number because there's nothing left over here. So now we'll do this step again, the whole thing again, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down. D for divide, 15 divided by 3. Ooh, did we finally get one that goes in evenly? Woohoo! yeah. 15 divided by 3 is 5. So we're going to put that 5 up here. But we still have to do the rest of the steps to check that there's no remainders. So 5 times 3 is 15. We subtract, it's at a 0 which means there's no remainders, which means it goes in evenly. 825 divided by 3 is 275. Now stick around because I do need you to check it, especially if this is new to you. If you said that 825 divided by 3 was 275, you are also claiming that 3 times 275 is 825. So it's actually super easy to prove it, and I want you to check your work and prove it. Is how you do that. You're going to multiply and see if you get that. 275 times 3. You can do this in a variety of ways. I'm going to use the standard algorithm today. 3 times 5 is 15. 3 times 7 is 21 plus 1 is 22. 3 times 2 is 6 plus 2 is 8. 825. 3 times 275 is 825. 825 divided by 3 is 275. That's how you do the standard algorithm for division and then check it afterwards with multiplication.